Dear friends, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with God. And I am Father Jose. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. May the Holy Spirit illumine our hearts and minds and burn us with the fire of God's love. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, verses 16 to 21. Passage taken from the message version of the Bible. This is how much God loved the world. He gave his son, his one and only son, and this is why so that no one need to be destroyed. By believing in him, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. God didn't go to all the trouble of sending his son merely to point an excusing finger telling the world how bad it was. He came to help to put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in him is acquitted. Anyone who refuses to trust him has long since been under the death sentence without knowing it. And why? Because of that person's failure to believe in the one of a kind son of God when introduced it to him. This is the crisis we're in. God light streamed into the world. The man and woman everywhere ran for the darkness. They went for the darkness because they were not really interested in pleasing God. Everyone who makes a practice of doing evil, addicted to denial and illusion, hates God light and won't come near it, fearing a painful exposure. But anyone working and living in truth and reality welcomes God light, so the work can be seen for the God's work it is. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. John chapter 3, verses 16 to 21. We continue to read from the third chapter of the Gospel of John. Even if you fail to remember any other verse from the Gospel, today we got one to learn by heart. And that should form the heart of our faith in Jesus. In John 3.17 we read, God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him may not be lost but may have eternal life. The passage speaks of the great height, breadth and width of God's love. God's love is not just for a few, nor for any particular group of people. Rather, it is a redemptive love that embraces the whole world and a personal love for you and me, whom God has created. Do parents keep an account of all the sacrifices they make for their children? True love does not count the cost. It leads one to make sacrifices willingly and joyfully. A true lover gives his or her beloved everything he or she has and the best one has to offer. God provided his love for us by giving us the best he had, his only son, Jesus. And Jesus donates his life, sacrifices his life to make us live healthy. God's giving of his only son to the world carries a sense of hope and trust on God's part. It has the sense of entrusting the most precious gift to the often violent and murderous world. God's gentleness is not dependent on how the world responds. This trust of God also illustrates his readiness to face the vulnerability of loving. God is a loving father who cannot rest until his wandering children have returned home. St. Augustine had said, God loves each one of us as if there were only one of us to love. God gives us the freedom to choose whom and what we will love. We can love the darkness of sin and unbelief. Or we can love the light of God's truth, beauty and goodness. While writing the gospel over five decades after the death and resurrection of Jesus, John was aware of 
the reality that not many people could recognize the love of God the Father and they preferred to stay in the darkness of their sins like Nicodemus who came from darkness into light but could not accept the light of truth and therefore disappeared into the darkness and that is the reality today as well do we love god above everything else does god takes the first place in our lives in our thoughts and actions